I don't know what it is about the morning that just gets me kind of fired up. We're out the door, sun's not up yet, you know, it's just getting light out. I don't want to run down somebody else's track. You know, I, I, want, to, I want to be the first one out there. I want to show what you can do off the trail, on the trail, rough trails. I want to show the adventuring, the fun stuff that you can get into. I definitely want to make it a happening scene. I got my first sled when I was seven years old for my birthday. My father surprised me with a Mini Z. I'll never forget that winter. I'd just run laps in the front yard and I'd run on a fuel. I'd walk inside. Dad would come out, fill it up, run and run and run, just keep going. And then he got me into ice racing it. That's where kind of the whole racing thing started. My dad grew up in the industry. He was a good racer, but he loved seeing his equipment win. Whenever I'd, I'd win in Hillcross, he was right there with me, super stoked because his sled kicked everybody else's ass. The Lynx culture, the Finland culture over there, they're all kind of wild childs. They have their style and they stick to it. I love that kind of wildness. You don't need to follow a script, you just kind of do what you want to do and you're not afraid to get a little Western. They have a term called Sisu. It doesn't really have a clear definition, but it's just kind of powering through when things get rough and having that grit and uh, I've been in plenty of positions where things really go sideways and you kind of just power through it and they're all about growth. They're not about staying in the comfort zone because you know nothing great comes from the comfort zone. I think a lot of people work for the weekend. You know, you see it on social media, it's finally the weekend. The weekend's here and people are so excited and then, oh, grr, Mondays. They're working for the wrong W. I work for the winter, the right W for me. I think about being carefree in the wintertime, and I know what that takes. It takes long hours in the summertime for me, and I'm willing to do that and sacrifice a few months of summertime to be able to do what I love in the wintertime, and I love winter more than summer anyways. But if I call it an early day in the summertime, and it happens, I'm, you know, I get lazy. I love to ride dirt bikes, motorcycles, love getting on my, on my bikes and just going for a little rip to cool off. You know, at the end of every day, I ask myself, well, if you could do today over, what would you do different? And the one that hurts the most to say is, you know, wake up earlier or stay out later. Those are the two that just fire me up the most. It's not uncommon to work 90 hours a week and you're just sunrise to sunset every day. It's like a year round lifestyle, whether I'm on sleds or I'm working. That's such a rewarding feeling. I can only imagine how stoked my old man would be for this. I'm working for BRP right around the exact same age that my dad did. It's pretty cool.